<laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Rhonda Crew was inspired to apply for the Invictus Games after watching her husband compete in the 2016 Orlando Games. Being chosen for the team makes her one half of the first ever Canadian husband-wife duo to take part. I got a chance to meet and speak with her in Sydney. Rhonda, it's so nice to talk to you because you were part of the first ever Canadian Invictus husband-wife team. Talk to us about your husband, Dwayne. Uh, Dwayne was a search and rescue technician in the Canadian Forces. In 2009, he had a near drowning in an overturned vessel out in Vancouver Island. He's suffered uh, brain damage and cerebral dysfunction since that time. So he competed in the 2016 Games in Orlando, Florida. He competed in volleyball and running. Wow, and you've said that you were inspired to apply for these games because you saw what the training did for him. What, what did it do for him? You know, it was getting him out of the house on a regular basis. Yeah. It was putting him together with a team again, because after he was injured and released from the military, he lost that whole family that the military presents for a lot of folks and his team, and was isolated at home a lot of the time. So getting him out there with a the team got him to have purpose to keep moving. Now, Rhonda, you were diagnosed with PTSD in, in 2014. Yes. As a result of your service, the, mm -hmm. uh, the injury to your husband, and the loss of your parents. But you've um, only started openly talking about uh, PTSD last year. What, what, what took so long? Well, actually, my initial injury was back in ooh, 1999 really? in Bosnia, and it was a sexual assault. And so I didn't want to come forward a lot. I came forward then, things were dealt with, but it wasn't something I wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. And then later through my career, I had minor injuries, and then in Afghanistan as a trauma nurse and being in a medical evacuation helicopter that received small arms fire and had to do a mayday landing. It. Uh, causes a lot of a lot of thoughts in your brain and but I, I never came forward really because I was just worried that it wouldn't be accepted and then after a while I started thinking well if they won't accept me as a lieutenant colonel senior officer how are they going to accept other folks yeah. right so I thought well maybe instead of hiding it I'll come forward and start being someone who other folks can use as an example to prove that I can start as a lieutenant with my first injury and be a lieutenant colonel now and you can still do it and and in talking about it have, have, how have you felt? Uh, it's actually brought up a lot of emotions. I've had to go back into therapy because of talking about it so much and yeah. then being around folks that are talking about it a lot here. But I think it's healthy therapy and uh, I'm talking about it instead of repressing it, which is probably a better way to go. Now, I, I want to talk about your service because you've been in service since you were 17, mm -hmm. still an active service member, and you've got one of the most interesting military titles I've ever heard of. What is an honorary nurse to the queen? What does that role entail? So the honorary nurse to the queen is the most senior serving nursing officer in the Canadian Armed Forces. Wow. So there is a honorary to the queen for doctor, mm -hmm. dentist, nurse, and uh, chaplain. That's so amazing. I am the most senior, which really just means I'm old. <laughs> Rhonda, what, what are you hoping for this week? What are your goals? Uh, I told you at the airport, and I know you laughed at I me, laughed. and I said my whole goal is to look good going slow. <laughs> but it is. That's my goal, and to support my team, and to be a cheerleader, and finish. Just do everything, go to the start, and get to the finish. Lieutenant Colonel Rhonda Crew, it's an honor. Thank you very Thank much. You. On a personal note, I'd like to thank all the Invictus athletes who spoke with me in Sydney and congratulate Team Canada on a successful Invictus Games down under.